Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog show African Girl Answers, the one place for all African girls under 35 and yes, that includes those of you who do not go to church on Christmas Day. I'm your host Sandra Fondufe, the H is silent like Django. And let me introduce you to my co-host, Ogat Kermit, the African Kermit, has lots of swag if you ask me. African Girl Answers. Super! Today I'm counting down 10 of the craziest things that happened in 2014 and trust me, celebrity breakups are not a part of it. Chris. Number 10, the vagina gun. <laughs> Pretty much a boy and a girl are fighting, right? And they're arguing about aliens, by the way. And the girl thinks it's a good idea to take a gun out of her hoo-ha. Like, <laughs> wait, like, how did the gun, like, first of all, get in there? Okay, I'm gonna sip my tea right now because I have no clue. One more thing. If you thought it was some random girl from the street, uh, no. This is actually the wife of Pulitzer Prize winning novelist Cormac McCarthy. The wife. Actually, I think that's ex wife. Uh, moving on. Hello. 2014 was crazy because we lost lots of great comedians. I mean, we're talking Robin Williams. I love this guy. Have you seen Aladdin? That movie is like my favorite go-to movie. Prince Ali, Okay, guys, I lost my voice, so I can imagine how hideous uh, I sound. Actually, really because we lost John Rivers. Anybody remember Fashion Police? Philippe um, Seymour Hoffman, the actor from Doubt, which is one of my favorite movies out there. Shirley and Temple. Of course, cute Shirley Temple. I wish she died, she was really old, but you know, Shirley Temple back in the day was like young and cute, with all the beautiful songs. Hello. Have you heard about the C string? Man parts are already really scary, like no offense, but man parts, have you ever seen like a, a man's, you know, it's, it's really scary already. And then now you have these uh, asymmetrical man thongs, or I don't know how to call it, a penis pocket. Like, who wants to see that? Why? And people actually wear it to the beach. I mean, it's, it's just really disgusting. But that had to make my list because I was just like, first of all, who made that? And second of all, who is wearing that? Moving on. Oh. My God, does anybody remember that? I know my business, but Miley actually brought twerking back to mainstream media. Everybody wanted to twerk after Miley was twerking, even my grandmother. <laughs> Not a good idea. But you see, Carmen, one of the things I was, I was actually telling my American friends is, I mean, you would know that. You know, twerking is actually part of our African culture. Look at our dances, if you look at the original African dances, we have twerking as part of our culture. So to us, it's not that shocking, but I would understand why it's the mainstream media is like, oh my God, what is she doing, right? Hello. Come here, actually. Come here, I need you. I need you for this one. I need you, this is so crazy, I need you. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to sit with this one myself, but. A group of Atlantans in Georgia decided that it would be a good idea to build a church in honor of her divine divaness, Beyonce Knowles. Giselle Knowles. 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 No, whatever. You know her. Jay-Z's wife. They actually have their own Bibles that they call Babel. <laughs> and then they meet every Sunday to sing former Destiny's Child hits. Chris. The minister, the founder of the church, her name is Minister Diva Pauline John Andrews. This is what she had to say. Beyonce. Beyonce. Are you kidding me? You want us to raise money to build a church for your diva Beyonce? <laughs> that must be a joke. I beg Sister Carrie, please tell them to take that money and give it to Ebola. Nonsense. Hello. 
on the 14th or 15th of April 2014, 276 girls were kidnapped from their village in Chibok, in the state of Borno in Nigeria. And that was really sad. Um, those responsible for it was the jihadist uh, Islamic terrorist group called Boko Haram, which by now I think we all know who that name is. And what I made it kind of funny, though, was the rampant social media fad that kind of went on with the Bring Back Our Girls posters that everybody oh. was holding. Celebrities, heads of states. I did it. Did you? No, actually. I mean, I did. And uh, <clears throat> whether they were actually doing it because they wanted to do it from the bottom of their heart or because they were trying to be part of a social fad. Uh, and we cannot go away from this without Yay. remembering. Diary. Diary. <laughs> Diablo, you're sharing. Hello. I can just imagine like waking up from sleep in the morning and the whole world can see my nyash. Like I would die. My mother's, oh my God, my mother's reaction. Oh my God, I don't know what I would do. Can you imagine my mother's reaction? My favorite picture of all was the one of Megan Good, who was like this. And her husband was like this. And Christians were reacting to it and insulting them. And so I'm like, she is FaceTiming with her husband. Hello. The World Cup. I mean, who doesn't love the World Cup? It happens once every four years. People, for those of you who have no clue. Yeah, Americans. <laughs> I know, seriously. They, they, yeah. they, they don't watch soccer. Either. They have Super football. Not, eh? uh, the, the highlights for this year for me, Brazil was beat in their own country. Brazil, who has won the World Cup several times, was won in their own country. 7-1. 7-1. Really, Brazil? Like, seriously? Seriously? But they scored a goal, yeah. Nah, I mean, it's not, no. They, no, that's bad. That's horrible. What if it was 7-0? No, you can't say that because 7-0 said, tells me, okay, I'm not trying. Let's do it. 7-1 means you were actually trying and you got beat in your own house. Nah, that's bad. That's really bad. <clears throat> Second of all, Alex, so I think he got red carded for, for, for elbowing a player. What's that guy's uh, name? Yeah, Mario Mendes. <laughs> Mario, that guy. And then Suarez bit somebody. I'm like, Suarez, you are too rich, too famous, too talented to be biting people. Hello. Number two on my list is the rise to fame of 31-year-old Kenyan actress, Lupita Nyong'o. You know, I'm really proud of her because uh, obviously this, this is great. She's an African actress. You have to know that this lady was on the... On the um, Kenyan show, Sugar. Yeah. Have you seen that show before on DSTV? I used to, watch it. I used to right. watch it in school, actually. Did, did you? Yeah. And, and I think, I think that's, pretty, that's pretty impressive for, for anybody who's African to understand how hard it is to do what it is. And then guess what happens? She stars in 12 Weeks a Slave, opposite Brad Pitt. She was in a drill for And then she wins the damn Oscar. Best supporting actress in the role. I, I mean, I think, I think for this one, I'm going to clap. This, this shit, that, that was really, that was really, really good. Shot for that yeah. Actually, let's take a shot for her. Let's... Hello. The Ebola virus is really sad. You can take off your hat. We lost a uh, lot of African people to Ebola last year. Well, it's actually technically this year. But uh, 2014 was really crazy for that. And one thing that people have to know is that the Ebola virus is not even new. Actually, you see? Yeah, it's not new. Right? No, it's been there for a hot minute, but it just kind of came back, you know? And, and, you know, Africans really died from this. And the, the funniest part is the fact that the Liberian lost his life from the Ebola virus when the two American doctors, like, lived. I shall sip my tea to that. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on social media. It's Sandra Fondufe on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And... Very real on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you very much. That's right. Don't forget to drop your comments at the bottom of this video. Let us know your best and worst moments from 2014 to win an exciting prize that I will not tell you about on the <coughs> next episode. And thanks to our old viewers, and I hope that we make you proud this new season. It's been real. I love you guys. <laughs> Super.